Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today in my next installment of my Colour of Emotion series. So I'm using all blues, this is a 12 by 12 inch canvas and I'm going back to doing some Dutch pours, a technique that I really really enjoy. So, Colour of Emotion and this is about blues. What does blue say to you? For me, it's about peace, trust, loyalty, maturity, it's calming, it's safe, and I find it really interesting and professional. And the blue colour tones mean something to you too. And I would love to hear what you think about the colour blue and what blue represents to you. When I think about blue, I think about the sky and the ocean, and it also ties in with nature. So I really, really love blue, and I think it's probably one of my favourite colours. I'd love to hear what you think too. Let me know what blue means to you. How does it make you feel? When you think of blue, what do you also think of? Does it bring back really good memories? So, I'm blowing out the, uh, the base colour, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to layer the tones of blue in a puddle, and then I'm going to blow that out on the canvas. Okay, so I'm going to take my blue tones and I'm literally going to aim for the middle of the canvas and I'm going to layer the tones one on top of the other and then I'm going to blow over the base coat and then I'm going to almost aim to do like a flower design. Um, so as you can see, this is all blue. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of white, just to kind of break it up a little bit, add a little bit of texture and depth. White is a very clean, fresh and neutral colour, so that goes really, really well with the blue. But I'm not adding too much white. And then I'm going to carry on, just adding a bit of the blue over the top. I think we'll go in a bit of a zigzag motion. That's it, and then I think I'll use, I'll use a little bit more, yes, I'm going to use this one, just to create a little bit more in the centre, and then a darker tone again on top, okay, yeah, I'm happy with that, so I'm just going to add a little bit more of the base, the base coat round the edge and then I can blow that over and that's going to help with the flow and the movement of the paint on the canvas. I can see some air bubbles so I will just use my torch to get rid of those air bubbles before I blow out the design. So I'm just going to go round the edge, get rid of all the air bubbles that I can see and then I'm going to get my blow dryer and I'm going to create a piece that hopefully I'm really happy with. Okay, so I just want to take you down onto the canvas to show you what I can see. I love some of the cells that have already formed. I think I'm going to lose a lot of that as I blow out. There's too much paint on the canvas just to leave it as it is because believe me, I'm tempted just to leave that design. It's, it's really beautiful. But I'm going to blow it out um, and see what kind of creation I can make.
Wow, I'm really, really happy with this. I love those blue tones I've chosen. I think they all work really well together. I've listed the tones that I've used in the description below. So if you're interested to understand what tones I've used, then please have a look at the, the description. I love some of that detail. My concern is there's a lot of paint still on this canvas and because I've used pouring medium, I feel like it's all gonna try and um, kind of smooth out and almost move and lose some of that detail that I can see. But I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll show you the dried result. Okay, and here's the dried version. It's still really great. I, I still really love the tones that I've used and I love the overall design. I have lost some of that detail. So some of those cells that I saw before, they've almost dispersed and um, become part of the overall design. I really don't mind that. I really don't mind that it's changed. I've really enjoyed working with blues and blue is one of my favorite colors and I'll be working with it a lot more in the future. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're enjoying this series, The Colour of Emotion. Thank you so much and I'll see you again soon. Bye.